Hi, in today's video, we're going to have a look at how to style the logo of our template. Okay, so first thing we need to do is remove this background, really ugly background for the header, and then give it a height. So back in our project here, um, we'll go to the main.css and the header section. So scroll down. Let me just remove this background color here and just give it a different one and um, it's going to be hash 292929 okay so let's see what we have now as you can see it's the one for the header and we're going to give the main header a height of 100 pixels you can give it whatever you want that looks nice to you but 100 pixel works for me okay let's do that but um if you notice we want this logo here to be centered in the middle of the header but that's not what's happening and how do we do that um let's inspect the logo right now the logo is contained inside something called main logo container so we'll take that and give that a display of table okay next we're going to take the main logo itself which is contained inside the main logo container and we'll give that a display of table cell then we'll give it a vertical align of middle we give it a color of white and we also give it a height of 100 pixels okay let's refresh that and see yep that works so let's increase the size of this so we'll say font size we'll say 2m it's the same as um, 16 times 2 32 that's the reason why we um, use this here font size 16 pixels on the body so that case you will know what um, the M's are for anything inside the body tag so actually instead of doing M let's use REM and, um, the reason for that is REM is relative to the body and not the containing element so if this was um, font size of 20 pixels and then I put M here You'd expect that it will reference 16 pixels from the body, but no, it's going to reference this 20 pixels here. So it's going to be 20 times 240 pixels, and that's not what we want. So rem is the safe way to do that. Okay, so now this is what we have. Um, let's do the hover effects now. When we hover over the logo, that its color changes. So we'll say main logo hover. So the color goes to the green one which is the sort of like the color for our website and we also want that when we hover over um, actually the main logo has a span tag inside it which will have by default a color of green so we want the colors to alternate it will have a color of green by default but when we hover over it main logo hover we want the span to have color for of white so we'll just do that quickly here and let's look that in our browser as you can see when I hover over this the colors alternate the dot is by default um, green but when I hover over it it goes to white and the text for the logo goes to green okay that's it guys for this tutorial video and um, I hope it was really useful and um, if you have any questions, please post them in the comments below or ask me on my website, the forum section. And I thank you for watching. I will see you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.